The purpose of this video is to show you how to use StellariumWeb.org to find the distances to a few stars. The first thing to do once you're in is to set your location. So if you click on the location area and then just choose roughly where you live. If you can land somewhere on Shetland then that will be good enough and what you get in the view will reasonably reflect what you would see if you went outside. So once you've got location the next thing to do is to set time and you just basically want to choose a time when it's dark uh, by moving the slider so that uh, you can see the stars rather than just being looking at the daylight. After you've done that the next thing is to adjust what you're looking at. Now at the moment I am looking south and this is the view that I would see at about 11 o'clock this evening looking south and I can just click and drag and I want to work my way around so that so that eventually I'm looking towards the north. The stars I want to see are all of the plough stars and Polaris which is the star at the uh, point where the coordinate lines meet. I'll turn the coordinate grid off just now. So the first star that you need the distance for is Alcade. Now if, if you need to you can zoom in just using the mouse wheel and then click on Alcade on the left. Up comes the details. The one that you want is the distance which is in light years 104 light years. So you need to write that value in the last table on the worksheet. The other stars that you'll need in order to complete the worksheet are Merak. So Merak is the bottom right hand star here as seen and then Duba which is the next one top right star of the panhandle. And they together are called the pointer stars because if you take a line extending from Merak and Duba and just keep on heading up you will eventually come to Polaris up here and if you click on that it'll give you the distances that you need. So I already had uh, earlier on I had this equatorial grid on. Now you don't need to know about these coordinate axes exactly for the advanced tire. Um, it's just useful I think to have a rough idea that they exist and you can see, you can clearly see how these are used to denote the positions of the stars if you put the grid on and then just slide time if you just kind of slice through time that's going backwards and forwards in time you can see that the grid of coordinates um, moves with the stars so these are equatorial coordinates they're called right ascension and declination the declination is measured from the equator, zero degrees, right up to 90, where Polaris is located. And you can see those marked uh, 70 degrees, 60 degrees, 50 degrees on there. The other coordinate is right ascension, and that is measured heading east from a point called the vernal equinox, which is basically first day of spring. Now that's what it looks like on stellariumweb.org website. But you can also have a look and see on the Stellarium app. It looks slightly different and it behaves slightly different controls. Um, there's a lot more detail on the stars. So this time if I click on Alcade, then I get an awful lot more information. I still get my distance in here, plus other information that you might want to have a look at. Um, the time control, if you're using the app, the time control is actually on the left and so you can adjust the time using the time control there. There are many many more options uh, including for example the fact that you can switch on different kinds of um, star lower or constellation art. So the one I've got here is the Native American Dakota Indians star lore which is very different from the Greek mythology that we have um, and if I click on Polaris so there's Merak and Duba if I click on Polaris we'll see that that is now called the star which stands in one place and to see exactly what is meant by that if you 
pull up the time control and then just let the time advance. You might want to switch on the equatorial grid. And then just move forward an hour at a time and you can see that is indeed the star which does not which stands in one place.